What's up, Bigfooters and other outdoorly enthused folks? My name is Brady, and today we're going to be doing some squatching in the Wichita Mountains. over there and now I'm following his fresh tracks fresh fresh tracks these things are huge big tracks so I'm gonna see if I can get over there and get get a decent photo except like two hillsides over there so I'm gonna try to follow his tracks and see how close I can get these things are very dangerous so this place is full of Texas Longhorn and American Bison. So you have to be careful everywhere you look, especially in spots like this. I'm approaching this like gra dead grassy meadow. This is where they like to sit when it's hot, just cool off in the dirt. So you have to make sure that they're not in the area. So I'm on the GoPro right now. Yeah, oh yeah. There's fresh tracks and fresh scat everywhere. It's definitely a spot where they like to hang out, so I have to keep my, my eyes and ears open. Also I have to be careful walking through this grass. Have to be careful for rattlesnakes, things like that. But, a great spot for tracks. Nice. Loose dirt. Yeah. You either have to... You gotta be careful. One of these things could be hiding just in the tree line. And if I get too close without noticing it, I don't even notice that it's there until it's coming at me. So... Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can photograph that big bison. Uh, get some B-roll. This is a bad spot to stand. The trail is back that way, so... Alright guys, so while I was chasing that uh, bison, Led me to this little creek here. Um, I don't think I'm getting any closer to it. I think it's just too far up on that hillside uh, for me to go after without all of my gear. All I have right now is my little camera bag. So I don't want to go up there and need something that I don't have with me. So the rest of my gear is in the car. So I think I'm going to head back to the Jeep and check out a different spot. I'll probably eventually head over to Elk Mountain. So right now I'm gonna head back up to the Jeep, uh, drive around a little bit more, see if we can see any more wildlife. If there is a Sasquatch or any Sasquatches in this area, I feel like this is where it's gonna be. This is over by this lake. And this, this is just a patch of forest that runs through this, this canyon or this valley in the area. Most of the areas around here um, are not super wooded, but this spot runs down this canyon for quite a ways. It's very cool down here. And you could walk through this area. If you knew what you're doing, you could move through this area pretty quietly during the daytime. And at nighttime, if they needed to, they could move out of here, because this spot's closed at nighttime. They could move out of this area into the lake. They could hunt by the lake. They could get some water. So if there are Sasquatches in this particular area, I think this is a great spot. There's no trails down here though. I've just been following game trails. 
So I'm going to keep looking in this area, see if there's any more game trails that will lead me deeper into the canyon, into the forests, and see if I can find anything, any structures, any prints, and uh, we'll see where that takes us. You know, I think that last spot that I was just at is the most likely spot for Sasquatches in that area. But if we're talking all of the Wichita Mountains, I think Elk Mountain is definitely the best spot to look. From the very first time I came here, I thought, like, how come there aren't more sightings from this area? This is a very well-traveled spot, but most people also stick to the trails. There's a lot of forested parts that are off trail that I think would be excellent for Sasquatches in the Wichita Mountains. So far, I have not seen a better place in these mountains. And it's actually pretty forested. There is a lot of habitat over here. It is called Elk Mountain, and they call it that for a reason. There is a lot of elk on these mountains. There's tons of elk tracks everywhere. I did see an elk on my last video when I was up here. And even just yesterday, I heard a coyote yipping in the woods. However, I did finally find one Sasquatch witness from this location. I was looking at like a blog website or a blog post um, talking about strange things in the Wichita Mountains, like the, the elk man, UFOs, ghosts, and, and it mentioned Bigfoot. And then this guy commented that he had a Bigfoot sighting around Elk Mountain. I haven't gotten in touch with the guy at all. Um, maybe I'll try to do that at some later time, but that does hopefully confirm that Sasquatches could very well be in this area. I've seen a ton of berries, I've seen berry bushes everywhere, and the witness actually said he saw the Sasquatch eating from the berry bushes, so I think this is definitely probably the best spot to look in the Wichita Mountains. So I'm just gonna hike these trails a little bit and see what we can find. Hopefully we'll find something interesting. I made it to this creek. This is probably where I'm going to stop on the trail. Probably not going to go any farther than this creek. The sun's starting to go down. I want to be sure I make it back to the Jeep. Uh, this place actually closes after sunset, so the squatches, as they're here, they probably roam this place freely after dark. Every other time we've been up here, we went to the Elk Mountain Trail. This is a different trail. I don't remember what it's called, but it's not the Elk Mountain one. It's much squatchier. So much more cover on this trail. Uh, the other way is like a much more uh, rocky ascent to the top of the mountain. Uh, this, this trail doesn't lead to the top of the mountain. I think I'm gonna just head back to the Jeep. Uh, if I see any more wildlife, I'll definitely pull this back out and uh, get some sweet shots. Definitely, definitely a promising, squatchy spot. Now's the time to hit the trail. Man, what a beautiful spot. I would love to just camp up here for a night, just sitting on this little ledge right here with like a night vision scope or a FLIR, just keeping an eye on this little creek bottom. Just keeping an eye out for any wildlife, any Sasquatches. Oh, that'd be amazing. And the acoustics would be pretty good echoing throughout this little valley. Wow, that would be fantastic. Such a good area. You've got tons of food, tons of cover, and you've clearly got water. That's all a Sasquatch needs. 
This looks pretty interesting though. How this looks to be all scratched up. My guess is either natural rot or an elk coming up here and sharpening up its antlers. I don't think it's rot. The rest of this, yeah. The rest of this tree isn't like rotting. It's not falling apart or anything. So it definitely looks like where an elk has been through here. Super cool. All right, guys. I think that's gonna wrap up this trip. The Jeep is right over there, right around that corner. And I would consider this an excellent trip to the Wichita Mountains. I'll probably focus much of my time at Elk Mountain um, from now on. I wanna start setting up like a research site maybe. Uh, I'll get into that in future videos if I decide to do that. Super squatchy spot here at Elk Mountain. Uh, I love the Wichita Mountains. I had an awesome time exploring, taking photos of all of the wildlife that there is to see here. This is just one of my favorite places, the Wichitas. I'll definitely have to come back here pretty soon, probably in the next couple days. Maybe bring my trail cam back out. Um, Last time I was here, I actually got a couple photos of some elk and some deer on that trail cam. So, definitely a great spot with plenty of resources for Sasquatches to live here. But really, with that said, I think that's going to about wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep squatching.